Hey guys, this is Ryan from the Indie Music Academy and you're watching another video on the 30 Days of Action series. And I just went through a whole bunch of videos about optimizing your profiles as a musical artist. And I didn't wanna forget Apple Music. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize your Apple Music profile for new listeners. <laughs> Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the Spotify optimization video that I released earlier in this series. And Apple Music is probably just as important, even though it's not really as popular as a platform. Spotify is still the big winner in streaming. They have the most users, they have the most functionality, but Apple Music, I can tell they really want to become a big player in the music streaming business. And Apple Music is a place that they're investing a lot of money, so you should also just invest a little bit of time and optimize your profile for its users. In order to optimize your Apple Music profile, first just go to artists.apple.com and make sure that you have your profile claimed. You have to do that in advance and they link your Apple ID and all that good stuff because it is Apple. So once you have your accounts linked, then you have access to yourself as an artist on Apple Music for Artists. So I've already done that and I'm just gonna tab on over. This is what it looks like when you log in and you already have an artist linked. And I'm the only one that I linked to my Apple ID. So all I'm gonna do is just click on my photo here and I get taken to this screen. So this is the view you get when you log into the Apple Music for Artists portal. And it has all of the same great analytics and all the same great stuff that Spotify has. It just looks different. And of course, it's for their platform only. And there's just a lot of things that I really like about it. You get to see everything at a glance in a nice little box. You have a map, but yeah, it's really cool to just visualize where your fan base is. And then also, Apple bought Shazam. So you get to see how many Shazams your songs are getting and also how many song purchases you have on iTunes. I don't know how much longer they're gonna keep iTunes around, but right now that's included in the portal. All right, so there's just a couple places I wanna point your attention to. If you click on the Manage tab, you're gonna move over to this view here where you can upload your artist image. So definitely do that to optimize your profiles. And this artist image also is used on Shazam as well. So make sure you do that. And then the other place I wanna direct you to, if you go up to your profile and you click edit profile, you're gonna head over to where you can actually opt in for artist weekly recap emails, which is really cool. I signed up for it and every week, Apple Music is gonna send you an email of your stats, which is just really cool and Spotify has that feature as well. The Apple Music for Artists app is still super new and I'm sure they're gonna roll out a lot of new features, but for now, make sure it's connected, make sure that you're able to view the analytics and that you're all set up and then upload your images as well. And that's pretty much all that you have to do to optimize for Apple Music for Artists at this point. Hopefully that changes and then I'll drop a new video. But for now, just get that done, release music and start earning your music royalties. And speaking of music royalties, there's a ton of places that you need to sign up to collect all of your music royalties. There are royalties that are generated on Apple Music, royalties that are generated on Spotify. All of those are collected by your distributor, but then there are music royalties that are not collected by your distributor. They're collected by other companies called performing rights organizations, but even they don't collect everything. That's why I created the Music Royalty Collection ebook, and I'll link it down in the description below. It's completely free, and I want you to have it so that you can know every place that you need to sign up so that you can make the most and earn the most from your song releases. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching yet another one of the 30 Days of Action videos in this series, and I'll see you guys in the next one.